In this screencast, we're going to work through the t-test for a sample from a population, a single sample from one population, comparing it against a hypothesized mean to see whether or not the null hypothesis can be rejected and therefore the alternative hypothesis accepted. We have here air ratings given by customers for Heathrow Airport. So a large number is good, a small number is bad. There are a total of 60 ratings. Obviously this is a small sample from customers. Now airports are considered superior airports if they can demonstrate that the population mean rating by customers is greater than 7. So 7 is the hypothesized mean, mu naught. So HA, Heathrow's population mean is assumed to be less than 7. HA population mean is greater than 7. So if Heathrow can demonstrate that its population mean is greater than 7, it can be considered a superior airport. Those are the hypotheses. We're going to use this formula for finding out the T value, the T statistic, and then calculate the P value. So T equals X bar, the sample mean, minus the hypothesized mean, in this case 7, divided by the standard error. So first of all, we'll work through the steps. The first thing we need to do is to find out X bar. So the average equals average A2 to A61. So X bar is 7.25. Next, we need to find out the standard error. And we can do this all in one step by going equal stdev, reminder that the standard error is the standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. So the standard deviation of a2 to a61, close brackets, and then sqrt for square root of 60, which is the sample size. So therefore, the standard error is 0.135765. Now we calculate the t-value. The t-value equals, and then we can put it all in brackets, the average x-bar, 7.25, minus 7, which is mu naught, the hypothesized mean, divided by the standard error. So our t-value is 1.84. Now we need to find out the p-value from this. So we're using the t-distribution tables equals t-dist and then it asking us for the x. So the x is the p is the t-value, goes in here. Degrees of freedom Degrees of freedom are always n minus 1. Here, n was 60, so we put in 59. And tails, how many tails are there in this test? Well, we can see that this is an upper tail test. It's a greater than test, so it's an upper tail test. So it's upper tailed, and it's certainly not a two tailed test. So we put in 1 here, close brackets, and we find that the p-value is 0 0.035295. Now recall the rejection rule. If p is smaller than alpha, then we have cause to reject the null hypothesis. So the level of significance that we generally use is 0 0.05. So alpha, 0 0.05. So here we can see that p is smaller than alpha because 
0.035 is certainly smaller than an alpha of 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis, so therefore we must accept the alternative hypothesis and conclude that Heathrow's population mean of air rating of customer satisfaction is greater than 7. In that case, Heathrow can qualify as a superior airport. Thank you.